Alright, hey, this is Nerdy Nerf here, and I'm trying something new, um, a different camera angle because I'm making Stefan's. Um, as most of my viewers know, I use a webcam, so I'm trying an overhead view, kind of like Unit 13. So, this is how I make Stefan darts, or Stefan's, Stefan darts, or homemade darts, um, Foam back rod darts, or the professional name would be, or correct or professional would be, um, slug darts with, sorry, um, slug darts with washers, or, uh, split shot, um, with, oh, slingshot weight. I don't call them split shots, I call them dome darts or slugs. But, that's just personally me. Okay, now let's get on to making the darts. Now, you will, what you will need is a drying rack. A drying rack of some sort. This is a barricade barrel. So you will need some hot glue, which most nerfers do have. This is my setup. My hot glue gun is here on this, on this blue thing. You can't see it. Um, my camera, my computer is sitting here. My camera is on a lamp off the, to this side. So, yeah. Um, all this clutter you see up here is just random tools. Um, for uh, putting the pumps or just making uh, shells, weighting shells down, I'll use this big one, but I don't have glue for it right now. So, um, and that's all this, this all up here is just clutter um, and all kinds of stuff. So, don't worry about that. Um, but let's get on to it. Uh, you need to preheat your hot glue gun, which in this case I'm using my red one. I have about three of these. I have some blue ones and all that good stuff. So here we go. Um, I'll be doing three slug styles and the rest of the foam. The uh, more, more foam is down here or down here where you see my hand. So um, first thing you do is you take your dart and you put some glue there. You don't need much. And then you come over here and you grab your weight. You want to put it right there. Um, uh, some of my weights, some of my uh, slug darts were already made. But another thing you're going to need to make slug darts, let's see if I can find it up here and all this clutter. Um, it should be here. Um, Sorry for this inconvenience. This is the first time I've ever made a video about this. You will need some type of you need some type of washer. I don't know if you can. You need some type of washer. A lot of people know what washers are. And then you'll need felt felt pads. Um, the lighting is horrible. You can't really see it, but these are. felt pads. Okay, now I already have the heads for this project done, so um, all I need to do is glue and add. So, not all of these are going to be straight because um, I did not dry these. It's because um, I haven't used my new dryer yet, so I have, don't know how to use it yet, but I mean, a dryer is a dryer. They all pretty much work the same, but I just don't know how mine works yet. Because I got a new one from the old one. I used to dry them. But personally, me, for my preference, I really don't see the point in drying them. Which, it does make the darts more accurate. And as Candy Operative and Unit 13 use dryers, all of Moonshapalapa. I don't know about him. Yeah, I think I said it right. And... I have just made uh, one, two, three, four, five, five slug darts in a matter of time that I can make three split shot darts. I made five slug style, and slug styles are going to be a lot quicker to make, a little bit lighter, and 
um, just faster production. Now, a lot of people prefer split shot weights. That's what they prefer. They long lat, they last longer, but slow. I mean, it depends on your blaster. Uh, if you have a high power blaster like a modified Titan or something, your slug styles are going to move a lot faster. They're going to break easier. They're going to, uh, they're just, these are just quick. Like, let's say you're going to a war and you want something that will hit the person and get them out. That's all you're wanting for. You're not wanting the darts to last long all the way through the war and still have all of them after the war when you go home. No. Slug styles, in my opinion, are darts that you just want to do the job and let it be over with. Now, I'm going to make these split shot. These are slug styles. Okay. Now, slug styles, you're going to take your hot glue gun and make sure your tip is clean by wiping off the glue. Now, you're going to take the hot glue gun and you're going to put it into the tip of the dart. So, it's going to look like this. You're just going to burn you a tip. And then you're going to squeeze a dot of glue in there. And then you're going to take your weight. And you're going to drop your weight in. And then give it, a, give it a jiggle and push it down. And then you're going to pipe. I'd say pipe. But you're going to fill the hole. You will have strings, and what I like to do is go back and make like an accurate dome on your dart. So, Let's see if I can get this in the camera here. I like to come around like this right here. You know, just touch it just a bit. Know, just to get it just to get it good and spread it and then you want to stick that dart into your drying rack or holster as some people call it. Um, now I'm doing this would be my version of mod help it's not I'm not gonna call it mod help because I don't want to take um, um, yank dogger sevens name for helping people do the right thing with their stuff so I'm just gonna call it my way of making stepping so. and I'm doing another um, uh, I am doing a ooh, Okay, now I've done a second one and I've done two. I've showed you how I've made split shot. Uh, these are two split shot darts. And then I showed you about th three or four of the... Uh, what? Alright. Um, I've done three or four of these slug styles. So, and I am doing a contest. If you can guess what sports I played in high school, then you will win a shout out in my videos. Alright, Nerdy Nerf, see you next video.